Alrighty guys, welcome back to Wacky Wednesday. We are back here and we are going to be racing at Wild Crest all right across, but we're going to be racing with, well, let's find out here really quick. Aston Martins. That's right, we got ourselves the first Aston Martin we're going to race with here. This is the Vantage GT4. Let's see how these do. We got seven laps on the clock. So let's see what we can do around this very uh, quick ready course. I already got damage on the front end there. Got cars jumping all over the place here, and they're going insane into the barriers there. Definitely fun to race from behind, as you can see all of this nonsense there. He totally takes out the barriers. We take out his rear end there a little bit. Got 18% of damage, we got the choker lap right there, very tight turn as we come into uh, basically turn number 4 there if we want to be technical. It is like an oval to some extent just with added pieces of the track to it. Over the nice little dirt jump, that's always fun, especially if you get enough speed. So we need to hit the brakes and downshift as we come into turn 1 there. Make sure that we can get enough grip. Uh, Grip? That's hilarious. Grip to be able to uh, make the turn. And then the rest through here is pretty easy to manipulate. The car drives really good like that. Just got to make sure we don't totally lose control going there to main turn number four. Oh, three. Oh, two. Yeah, turn two there. So there we go. So we got 20% of damage on the front end, so it definitely, this track causes a lot of damage to the uh, cars. That's mostly because of all of these uh, little stakes in the ground there. And uh, when those goes flying, they usually end up hitting it. We still got guys stuck in the barriers there, so eventually they're going to get loose, hopefully. So that leaves uh, just four cars, I believe, currently in competition, so... This is a fun track when it comes down to that, so let's see, we got a guy to the inside, we got to go deep into the turn there to be able to make the joker lap, go ahead and get this done. Really the joker lap isn't really that fast, it's pretty slow honestly, so going ahead and getting it out of the way uh, will help you out later on in the race, and you definitely don't want to lose control on the jump there. So we got the guy way out there in the lead in front of us. These guys are still stuck. Oh wait, the leader has wrecked. That's going to leave the white guy now in front of us. He got past. Looks like they're stuck in that barrier. That's something that happens quite a bit, unfortunately for them. But the, those barriers are pretty unforgiving on the most part. So see if we can't get past the white Aston Martin here. Hit the jump at over 80 miles an hour. Definitely a lot of fun there. And we came in too hot. That's going to add more damage to us. See where the white one goes. Got more damage to the front end. Yeah, you collect a lot of front end damage on this wreck. Whether it's uh, the car is braking, you just don't get the braking zone right, or if it's just all of the barriers that are around the track. It just it ends up being a lot of damage. There we go, so there's some more. Amazingly no suspension damage yet, which is definitely a blessing. But yeah, it's definitely a very fun fast track. There we go, 74 miles an hour, not really that fast. Make sure we make the turn here. So we got the lap car trying to make his way through. He totally gets himself loose and messes that up. There we got a little more damage to the front end. But yeah, it's hard. It's a hard track depending on how you enter the turn. Because basically once you uh, enter the turn wrong one time, I mean, it messes up your entire lap and usually results in a lot more front end damage, typically. We're trying to catch that uh, white McLaren there. 
Hopefully he wrecks into the tire barriers here soon. You can hear my front bumper wiggling around, so it's loose and dragging, so that's not really helping us out a whole lot. Alright, he missed the tire barriers there. So we go for a jump. It's definitely a very fun track, that's for sure. Looks like we got one guy behind us, so we want to keep this podium here if we can. And we will get it. Second place finish, not too bad for our Peretti Aston Martin, but still. A lot of fun, that's for sure. So let's go get a street car Aston Martin and see what we can do with that. Alrighty guys, here we go. The Aston Martin Vulcan. We're going to be trying this out on the dirt, so you say, that's not really a street car. Well, I don't know, it's pretty close to a street car. We'll see how it does, though, on the dirt. Fast car, not a good acceleration, already got front end damage. Very expensive car to be racing on dirt, but we're going to try it out anyways. Get that car out from uh, in front of us there, and try not to hit the uh, flying stakes as we go racing here is we got a guy going over the uh, grassy knoll there that definitely won't help him out car gets pretty loose in the dirt actually handling pretty decently I must say I like it I wasn't expecting it to handle this good we did do some modification to the suspension gave it a bit of a lift just so it wasn't digging into the uh, dirt, hopefully, as we hit one of the stakes there. That's not helpful. Go ahead and get our joker lap out of the way here. Only a five lap race, most because I didn't think it was going to actually end up being that good of a race so amazingly this car has proven me wrong it's actually doing a really decent job on the track if we can get the turn car has a good feed into it nice and planted in the track even in the dirt feels really good Amazing. This obviously is not a uh, race car, race car, quote unquote, more of a daily track car that you can have in your house, which is pretty neat. But definitely a very cool car to be able to try out on dirt, and it's doing a pretty good job at the moment. Miss that turn there a little bit. Car is doing a good job. I like it. Amazingly, not nearly as many issues with uh, cars losing control as we had in the first race. Nobody currently is that far back. Everybody's still in pretty decent contention for wins. So that's nice to see. See you guys taking the joker lap there for the final time. Three of them taking it all at the same time there. And get some good air too off the jumps. Making sure that you hit second gear when you're accelerating out of the uh, turns very important, or else you lose traction control. So, trying to make sure that we do that on the exit there, turn one basically, just so that we don't slip and slide. Right here, go ahead and shift into the second gear. We get some good traction. Able to keep moving the car around. And there we go. We get fourth. Not too bad. Car did a pretty good job. I like it. Alrighty, guys. We're back and we're trying out the uh, Aston Martin GT3. Got a little bit of rain coming down as well. So we'll see how this all works. 
Not a whole lot of traction. They can hit from behind. Not a ton of traction, that's for sure. Gonna be a lot of slipping and sliding for everybody here as we go through the mud section. This track gets pretty muddy, I have to say. Ooh, we really got loose there. Since we're all the way in the back, we'll go ahead and get our joke lap out of the way here. Because why on earth would we not? Yep, it is pretty slick. That's for sure. Good night, losing control all over the place. Get up the car rotating through the turn. Yep, it is definitely pretty slick and definitely loose. Yeah, not one of your best tracks because you got uh, obviously with the transition of the mood or dirt as it were and then you get the uh, asphalt slash concrete sections uh, with the mud and the water all kind of mixing up it kind of makes for a pretty rough track to be able to race on because you got the dirt populating now onto the asphalt with the rain and all that making things pretty slick and pretty hard to control a car on as well Oh, it's definitely not liking the turn, that's for sure. Very swirly. Yeah, definitely not having the traction that it needs. Doing some decent laps compared to our first one, but still not very good. As uh, the rest of the field doing a good job putting some distance between us and themselves. Rain's almost stopped, it looks like, so that's nice. Yeah, car definitely does not like this particular style of racing, I can tell you that right now. Does not like the wet. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's a giant puddle right there at the uh, finish line, so that makes things even worse. So, car doesn't want to rotate around the corners in the wet either very good without spinning out. It does not like the wet, that's for sure. Lots of puddles, very, very damp and muddy. It'll make for a pretty nasty car to have to clean up after the race. Especially with a little bit of oil probably mixed into the dirt there as well. But just a tad of super clean and a pressure washer will probably be able to take care of that as we hit the wall there. Luckily no damage populated so that's good yeah this track is so look yeah, you can see the car just trying to turn around as it hit, hits the puddle puddles and stuff not helpful that's for sure yep so definitely would not recommend driving Aston Martins on this particular track in the wet. Not one of the better combos. The Daytona track is pretty good on the wet, but uh, yeah, this one right here, not one of the uh, better options, as it has gotten very soggy, as you can tell. Storm has moved out and the sun's come out, but that's not going to dry it uh, in time for us here. That car is real loose. Kind of see a slight groove of uh, where everyone else is racing slightly appear on the track, but not a whole lot to work with, unfortunately. Still way too much mud tracking everywhere and just uh, not making it conducive for the racing. Fun car to drive though, enjoy it. If uh, probably be a little bit better on a uh, drier track there, but uh, still, fun car to drive. A little bit faster time there around the tracks, so not too bad. 
Yeah, you can just see it's just the rear tires, they do not, uh, do not catch the grip at all. They're just spinning through the uh, puddles and everything. Ooh, a little bit quicker that time. Trying to stay in this dry groove as much as possible. There isn't too much to go. And we hit that one thing. Oh, we finished it. But, uh, yeah. Definitely not uh, what I would recommend with the conditions. Not the best, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, so there we go, Aston Martins on dirt. Not the worst race I've ever done, but uh, definitely could have been a wee bit better, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, the Vulcan actually surprised me with how good it raced on the dirt. Obviously the GT4 car I think was probably the uh, best all-around car to be racing on the dirt. Definitely seemed like it was a pretty good rally car, honestly. But uh, yeah, just way too wet, too slick, and too muddy to be able to get the uh, GT3 car any good position but still definitely a very fun car to be able to drive but uh, yeah just didn't end up being the best car for us so anyways guys thank you so much for watching wacky wednesday with aston martins on dirt and we're gonna see you guys here next time with uh, i believe it's going to be jaguars on dirt that should be interesting anyways guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys here next time Bye bye